Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I'm going to be going over how you can make coins tomorrow during the What If Team 2 uh, team when that actually releases, what you guys can be doing and SBCs that we're going to get in the next coming days. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We are getting closer to 1.3k, um, which is very, very nice. So if you do enjoy the video, make sure to sub. Also over on Twitch, I've been streaming every day, so the link for that will be in the description down below. Make sure to follow there if you want to come into the live stream sometimes. We do live trading, SBCs, and a lot of other fun stuff. But, let's get into the video. I wanted to start this off by kind of just showing you guys the market right now, right? And, and these what if players are very cheap, okay? And I do think they're going to go up out of packs. I really do. Because I think they're undervalued. And... Uh, the thing is, I don't think people realize that they are getting a plus two upgrade. Okay, so this card has already gone up. He was like 83k. I picked a couple of them up at 83k today uh, on the live stream. Uh, he looks like he's about 90k. He should be like 95 plus this weekend. Um, that's what I'm thinking. And literally every single what if card went down today. So that is like a sign that there's pack supply firm awards and marquee matchups um, that obviously pushed the market down and then people got in right so what ifs are really low right now but what you guys can do tomorrow is since there is okay it's black right now but if i go over right there okay go over to flipping and go to the popular page and just take a look okay take a look before um we start getting promo packs and then take a look during right so we have all these cards. Smalling is already up at 500k. He was like, he was like for it, like 70 to 460 today, I believe. Uh, Pereira, 83k. We just checked. He's not. Marcelo, Burchetche. This guy was 93k. Okay. So all these guys are going up, and they're going up really fast. So if you want to get in on them, get in on them before they go out of packs. That's kind of what I'm saying. But what you guys can do is this. Okay. You're gonna want to go to the active challenges. And then you're also going to want to do cheapest players by rating. And this is kind of a way to trade with fodder. And it, you don't even need to invest in it, really. Okay, it's not it's not like you're buying 83s and investing for an SBC. Because the Icon SBC is already out. And what you're going to be focusing on is the high rated players. Okay, go. We just got an 84 rated player pick. So that pushed up the market for the 83s. I sold all my Bernats today. For like 4.5k um so i did make good profit on them but where is the player pick okay we also got prime icon spcs or prime moment icon spcs which is insane um yes none of them are good but i mean we did get them so that's a step in the right direction from ea um but if we go look at the mid or prime player pick and we look at these squads okay we look 91, 88, 90, 89. You want to be looking at the guys with links. So, Cruz, for an example, okay? He is 65K and he shot up 270, okay? That's low for him. 65K is low. And if we go on the market and search how much Cruz is, okay? Uh, let's see how much is he. Is he going to be like 65? Oh, I accidentally did hundreds. But let's just see how much he is, okay? So he is currently going for around 63k, I believe. Yeah, 63k. Tomorrow, I guarantee you, you guys can snipe this card at like 60 to 57 or below. And then what what this does is if this gets to be the cheapest 88, okay? You guys are wanna go, go look at this too, okay? Where is it? Uh 88, 87, 89. You want to find the cheapest and see if they're cheapest by a lot. So if this Navas was like 43k, what people would do is on Footbin, they would find a way to make the cheapest squad with Navas in it. And what that does is it pushes his price up and it probably is going to make his price go up 5 to 10k and that's when you guys sell. You want to look at these cards snipe the absolute cheapest and then you're honestly just going to want to be looking at these waiting for a navas sbc solution and that's when you sell because people 
go on Footbin. They click the cheapest one, right? It's always at the top, and they look. So who's who am I gonna buy, right? Cruz, Casemiro, Ter Stegen. If there was Navas in here, they would go buy that, and therefore that card would go up. So that is a way you guys can make coins tomorrow during rewards or during promo packs and lightning rounds. And I really do think that's a good idea, okay? We're probably gonna see this cruise go up in the next five to 10 minutes just because he is in this and he does get a strong link to Casemiro. Remember the, the players that get the most links, if we go back to Flippin, the players that get the most links are the players that go up the most because you need chemistry for the squads and a player like uh, Dubrovka is not going to go up that much in this SBC. But these three players are because they're high rated and they need chem, right? So let's go take a look at this Casemiro. And I think this is what I'm going to do tomorrow. 79k for Casemiro, okay? We go look. He's already up because this is the cheapest. This is what I'm talking about. People are going to go buy this and I guarantee you this card goes up to like 83, 84k. When... You could have got him for 77 to 78k then selling him for a 5k profit that's very good and it's literally instant okay you don't need to invest you don't need to hold it's literally just quick flipping sniping and bidding honestly bidding is very very good during lightning rounds and promo packs because you wait an hour and then the bidding starts and then people that were gonna bid go snipe so bidding right you'll be able to get a lot a lot a lot of players on bids for cheap another thing is go look at these cards right this Zimbabwe card was 87 rated this is what I need to tell you guys if a what if player is a guaranteed upgrade the second they're guaranteed that upgrade sell it okay this Zimbabwe card went to 500k extinct that's when you sell he's already down do not wait until they get the upgrade smalling uh, Yuri Pereira all these players if they if Smalling gets a clean sheet if Berchetche gets a clean sheet sell them the second they get a clean sheet because that is when they'll be the most expensive um, that's kind of what I've learned and honestly guys another thing you're going to want to look at is the what if cards as soon as they come in packs because I know we're not going to see a lot like we did last week but this card went up the Zimbabwe card went up a crazy amount. He went up like 150k um, when he was in packs because he went from, it doesn't show you, but he was around like 200 to 300k. He shot up to 400, uh, which was insane. And then he kind of just chilled around 400. Then they got a clean sheet. Um, then he went extinct at 500. So then they upped his price, uh, blah, 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 blah. He went down. Anyways, you guys are going to want to look at these what if cards. See if there's any good deals. I will be live during 10 o'clock, 6 p.m. UK time. Um, but I will be live during content drop. We'll see. We could also get a messy player of the month. I wanted to talk about really quick. That's going to cause Fodder to rise even more. Because he didn't get in team of the week. And he's currently leading the player of the month. So if he doesn't, that's insane and disrespectful in my opinion so i really do think he will get a player of the month just because one ea want fodder to be expensive because that's more fifa points for pe people because they think okay if i pack a walkout it's guaranteed like 50k now instead of guaranteed 20k so people are going to spend FIFA points and people are going to try and get the what if cards and if messi's a player of the month they're going to want to spend more FIFA points which equals more money for ea and that's kind of the way it goes so this is kind of what I'll be looking at tomorrow. I'll be looking at a little bit of everything. I'll be looking at fodder. I'll be looking at fodder informs, the new what if teams, out of pack specials, kind of just everything. If I see a out of pack inform or special drop, I'll definitely take a look at that. Um, but yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Come chill with me on the live stream tomorrow during content drop. If you guys want to open some pack, do it, you know? But that is the end of this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Also, follow my Twitch. The link for that will be in the description down below. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.